Observable objects have properties with values that can change and when they do it's possible to listen for these changes and then act upon them. We call this listeners for observable objects. Observable is in a class and objects of that class are known as observable objects. These contain the add listener method which is actually implementing the invalidation listener interface and this method is used for adding a listener. Whenever the property value of the associated property changes then the listener is notified. The listener class implements the invalidation listener interface and that uses invalidated with an object O of a class observable method to handle that property value change. All binding properties as it turns out are then instances of observable.